first time I came to Palm Springs was around 1990, and a friend of mine uh, had suggested that I go there, even though I had moved from San Francisco and had no interest whatsoever in going to a city that I thought was just retirees and people like Gerald Ford. But I was convinced to go, and um, when I arrived there and spent about six hours, I realized that it was not at all what I thought. It was incredibly beautiful. The mountains are spectacular. The air was great. Um, the desert scenery was spectacular. And then there was the architecture, and I fell in love. And ever since, I've that's been one of my very favorite places in the United States. Modernism has worked extremely well in the desert because the ideas of simplicity and um, the use of indoor-outdoor spaces and glass and uh, just openness is integral with modern design and so to apply that type of approach to the desert um, has been incredible. Everything just flows so nicely so it's almost as if the building is, is, uh, is part of the desert itself. It's like it, it's grown out of the desert. The Shield State Garden is the only place in the world where you can see and hear the romance and sex life of the day. Well, the Dome Marcus Hotel is extremely important because it was the very first uh, building that the architect William Cody, a local architect, built and uh, designed. And it was such a great design that it won the American Institute of Architects Award for its unique and revolutionary design. And it still shows that design today in its incredible angles, the use of materials, and its setting. The Hideaway is an interesting story. It was originally called The Town and Desert, and it was designed by this important local architect designer named Herbert W. Burns. And it's been beautifully brought back. It has the same uh, flow, it has the same original materials, and if you look at the old children's photographs, you can barely tell it's any different today from when it was built in the late 40s. Now, the ever-popular Riviera name was applied to the Desert Riviera in the early 50s. Another great Herbert W. Burns uh, building. He also designed probably a, a seven or eight hotels in Palm Springs. And it has all the key features you'd expect, which is the low uh, flagstone um, planter, vertical pipe beams, this very um, long roof line with a deep canopy. It's, it's really a great example of the style. The Orbit Inn is very interesting in how the, um, the proprietors took another Herbert W. Burns resort and then adapted it to a contemporary audience. The setting is incredible, the view of the mountains, and the interiors are uh, very period, including the bathrooms, the kitchens, and so forth. The Riviera Resort, which is very much, even when it was first built, like a Vegas building, its arrangement, in fact it was designed by a Vegas, a Las Vegas architect. Um, it was owned by the uh, Schumann brothers, who were the proprietors of the Chi-Chi Club. It's just a, an amazing adaptation over the time to what people find attractive. And today it looks very much like a Las Vegas hotel with all those fancy amenities. The um, Parker has an interesting history. It originally was a Holiday Inn, a very large Holiday Inn that through time became, uh, let's see, it was Gene Autry had it for a while, a famous uh, cowboy singer, and then Merv Griffin had it when it was called the Givenchy, and then now it's the Parker, and each time it gets changed and altered, so it's, it's about, had as many facelifts as most of the women in Palm Springs.